What's going on guys? It's your boy Jake Daniels and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video I'm going to be teaching you lot how to build a sexy, stylish, eye-catching wardrobe. So today's video is yet another first in another new series, which is the how-to series. It's pretty much self-explanatory really. Lads, down below is the comment section. Go and drop some video ideas down there because this series is all about you lot and what videos you want me to make. All your suggestions are noted down and each episode I'll pick an idea that you, my subscribers, have requested. All right lads, let's kick off episode one with how to build a wardrobe. We all want to look our best and today I'm going to run through some amazing clothing items that you guys should look to add to your wardrobe. I'm going to be kicking off with one of my favourite items for fall and winter which is a leather jacket. Years ago I put this leather jacket in one of my videos and instantly it was a hit. Leather jackets are the number one item you guys should look to add to your wardrobe if you want to look stylish for this fall and winter. In my wardrobe it's the big daddy boss of all the clothes man. It's a timeless piece that will never go out of fashion and you can really wear this leather jacket for different types of occasions. I wear mine to bars and restaurants. I actually have a second but I bought it purely for this channel and plus my job is like to be a fashion YouTuber and keep up to date with all the latest fashion. Just like the leather jacket, another classic timeless piece, it's the denim jacket and I've got quite a few of them. I've got one with fake fur going around it and then more recently when the ripped denim trend really kicked off, I purchased a ripped denim jacket from Top Man so I could teach you lot different types of tutorials. Traditionally, this jacket will be much more cheaper than the leather jacket. You're looking at around about 30 to 50 quid for a nice little denim jacket, whereas a good stylish leather jacket, I'd say minimum 60 pound to 80 pound. Moving from one denim product to another, you definitely need a pair of denim jeans in your wardrobe. And I've got so many different styles in my collection. I've got ripped jeans, normal jeans, patch jeans, destroyed denim jeans, Billy Jean, Wycliffe Jean, the list is endless. But my advice for those people who are at a beginner level or you're just starting out building your wardrobe is to go for either a rip pair or a normal rip pair. And yes lads, a rip pair in winter. Don't be a pussy. But yeah, jeans are a vital ingredient for creating a great wardrobe which contains plenty of character and a lot of personality. I'll leave it to you lads on what colour to get. My advice is to go for a normal blue pair or a black pair. Okay, I'm going to move the video on to a different category which is smart footwear. Now, there's so many different variations of shoes that can fall under this category. You can have brogues, loafers, Chelsea boots. I've picked out two of my favourite footwear pieces that fall under this category and they are the Chelsea boots and these smart little loafers. Chelsea boots, another classic piece which have been around for probably longer than the majority of us watching this video. Great footwear piece, very, very smart. I love to whip the Chelsea boots out when it's winter, when I'm wearing a smart outfit like a shirt, jumper and a mac jacket. It's a great little combination, would really recommend it. Next we're moving on to casual footwear and I have so many different white trainers in my wardrobe, I just didn't know which ones to show you. It's always good to have a white pair of trainers in your wardrobe for all the different seasons. They pretty much go with any sort of outfit. They go with all the other items I've previously mentioned in this video so far. The denim jacket, the leather jacket, jeans, and even they go with smarter outfits such as suits. I think all of you lads already know the importance of having a white pair of trainers in your wardrobe, so I think I'm just going to move on to the next one. Next we're moving on to accessories and every single one of you need a watch in your wardrobe. I've got a few watches in my collection. I'd say watches are the most important accessory to invest in because they indicate that you have great style. If you don't own one, you are missing out on a great opportunity because these little little things right here they allow us to show people our unique sense of style and personal preference. Okay lads, moving back to clothing now, I've sort of run through like the outer layer of outfits such as your denim jackets, your leather jackets, but all those items need to be paired with something in order to make a great outfit. T-shirts gentlemen, plain ones to be precise. Now lads, don't go spending loads and loads of money on plain t-shirts. I bought this one the other day for $1.99 from Pull and Bear, even though it says on like the price tag it's $4.99. Absolute scenes that the guy at the till was put it through wrong. Normally, I stick to Top Man, whose t-shirts range from anywhere from £8 to £10. Honestly, just don't go spending loads and loads of money on plain t-shirts, lads. Another one of my favourite clothing items to rock when fall and winter are about are hoodies. One of my favourite hoodies contains this rose embroidery on it, and it matches so, so nicely with a black leather jacket. For some stylish hoodies, I cannot recommend Boohoo enough. They're an amazing brand, and I've been shouting about them for a while now. Very affordable, probably the best brand around at the moment, I'd say. The last two clothing items I'm going to talk about are for more of a smarter occasion. The first item is shirts, and trust me when I say this, guys, we all need them for our wardrobes. Whether it's looking smart for school and work, or a job interview, or you just want to rock one with a more casual outfit. The second item is a jumper. Mine's a cashmere sweater from ASOS's home brand, and to be fair, it cost me like 25 quid, and it's like such a nice tight fit, and it's served me pretty well over the last six months. And I like to rock jumpers two ways. If I'm going for like a casual 
casual outfit, I'll chuck on a white shirt under my jumper, uh, a pair of blue jeans and Converse and try and go for like that schoolboy look. The second with a white shirt and a black leather jacket and boom, it's time to hit the club. So lads, I hope you guys enjoyed the very first episode in the How To series. Like I said at the beginning, drop me video suggestions in the comments section because this series is all about you and what you want me to make. And I'll see you guys back here next week. I'm Jake Daniels.